Hello, everyone. I would like to show you something that happens when you delete rooms in Revit um, 2022. Uh, but before I do that, I would like to uh, generate rooms schedule so that you take note of it before we proceed. So I'm going to go to rooms. Then I'm going to cross area. Room name number. As that, now take note of this. Uh, how it is? It is very nice. Now let me delete this. If I delete the lounge, and then I delete. Uh, bedroom, the entry, for example. It says a room was deleted from all model views, but still remains in this project. Okay. If I have that, and then I decide to place uh, my room tag for my rooms to bring it back and I do that. Okay. And then I rename this one lounge. Then this one entry as before. Okay. Now, if I now generate my schedule, I'm going to leave it as schedule two across my area, name, number. So I'm going to bring it down and then. Once I have that, yep. Uh, let me organize it. Let me change. Uh, so shut the number. So. If you look at this, you're going to see that room 25, which is the entry, and 26, which is the lounge, says on place and not placed. Now, to sort this out, we need to delete it from here. OK? We need to delete these two rows from here, like so. OK? Then. Uh, we'll now go back to our ground floor as it is. You now see it here. We will now regenerate another room schedule. Now, you can now notice, although the room numbering has changed, but you can now see that you no longer have that not, not place, not place. So I have to take note of what happens with that message. So you always have to, you know, to delete it from the whole project. You have to go back to the schedule to delete it. It does not suffice to delete it uh, from the plan view.